managed to form the Roman Empire in 1497. Very historically accurate Roman Empire, as you can see. This was an extremely tough challenge. It's basically a Mehmet's ambition, but you have to one tag and then switch to Catholic. So it's just kind of like a very hard version of Mehmet's ambition. I got this idea from a new YouTuber named Dave Alos. You guys should totally check him out. I'm going to leave his link in the description. He only has a thousand subs and he's actually a much more talented player than me. So definitely check him out. He was able to stably one tag. I was not. And anyway, guys, I'm going to give you the breakdown of how we managed to do this. This video is going to be a little bit different than my normal. I'm going to be jumping to certain saves and explaining what was happening during that time. So we're going to start 1454 and I'll show you where we were at that point. So the 1st of January is an important date because it's the date your ruler gets a trait. And I saved going to get this trait. Probably took me 20 minutes to do, so a bit painful. But obviously the negative 10% e-pact is going to make a huge difference in your run. Other than that, we did the religion swapping trick to get all of these alets, so we have a pretty strong economy. Or rather, our vassals pay us a lot, which makes us have a strong economy. We haven't really expanded too much. Moving to 1463, we got the Burgundian Inheritance. And when I got the Inheritance, I was trying to ally all the electors. I had already improved relations with all of them, because I was planning on dispensing the HRE with this war. But I had one elector who wouldn't ally me, because he, he was double rivaled or something like that. So I actually had to switch to Orthodox. But this played out in my favor. The first is his mission, Fate of Devsherm. If you don't have the Ottoman government type, this mission is super broken, the Fate of Devsherm. It allows you to get tier 5 government reforms, and you can see I already have the objectives done because I'm currently orthodox. And the reason why that's so powerful is because you can get military engineering, which lets you barrage cheaper, and we're going to have to barrage like crazy in this run. And it was also helpful that I had to switch religion to this point because when I went back to Sunni, I could refresh my double... AE impact buff. I didn't actually fight Austria directly, I just I just put the provinces as vital interest. That way they'd be handed over to me. So essentially I dismantled the HRE without actually having to lay a single troop in Europe. Because I was actually down fighting the Mamluks at the time. Another thing to know is I would pulse event in 1458. So what I did is I grabbed influence ideas, got the pulse event, and then abandoned the group and picked up espionage. So that would put me at 90% AE impact. So essentially I don't get aggressive expansion for conquest, but only for a short time. Jumping ahead to 1474, I would once again pulse event for just causes. And the way I did that was getting to text 7, and then picking influence, getting the pulse event and switching to admin, because I actually need to core things. So adaptability combined with this extra 25% is going to be super helpful. And you also get an additional 10% PCR for the war against Egypt. So instead of taking them as an elit, I did the second option where you get problems for cost and CCR reduction. And of course I'm doing that because I'm forming Rome, so I have to own the provinces directly. And that's what makes this run so challenging, is that you can't use Alets, more or less. Although I do use Alets in Italy, and the reason being is because there's a mission down here called the True Roman Empire, and it will allow you to integrate all of your Alets, but only in Italy. And no, you can't cheese this, I've tried it. It only integrates provinces in Italy. Moving ahead to January 1st, 1483, our just causes is just about to wear off. We did manage to conquer basically all the provinces we needed in Europe, or rather in Germany. And we started to alit a bunch of nations in Italy as well. But you can see we have 17 years left, and we haven't really touched the great powers here at all. And we still haven't quite finished off the Mamluks, or really pushed into Africa at all. So we have a lot to go, a very limited time to do so. And we are about to lose just causes, so coalitions are going to be a factor now. You can see here that Coalitions are already starting to be a factor, where, you know, they're kind of mad, but if I conquer any more, we're definitely going to be getting into a coalition scenario. Now we're going to look at 1493. I had a weird idea to handle the potential coalitions that we're going to form. The idea was, I was just war with everyone at the same time, and then not piece them out until everyone was fully sieged. That way I could wipe out their armies and prepare for truce breaking. You'll notice I actually was capped on admin points at this point, because I knew I needed an immense amount of admin points because I was going to be truth breaking so much and I'd be so overextended that it would cost like that it would cost a ridiculous amount to stab up at that point. So I, tr I did my best to actually switch my reform to the stab cost reform. I ended up switching to the compromise with the nobility for the stab cost and I really just did the best I could to get my stab there. And just to give you an idea of what we're going to have to do in the next four years, I'm at 215 of 425. So for the next four years, I'm going to need nearly double the provinces that I currently have. 
Now we're going to take a look at November 1st, 1495. Things are bad. But we have to keep going. So you can see we're basically fighting all the great powers again. I'm at war with England, France, Castile, Aragon. I already killed Portugal at this point. I took max loans before I did all this. And I was able to upgrade Malta Forts to rank 3 and Mecca to rank 3. So you can see here Mecca's rank 3 and Malta is rank 3. I didn't have the extra money to upgrade Alhambra to rank 3, but I don't think it was a big deal. But obviously things are stressful. The rebels are in a state where they can't actually enforce their demands because of the situation of being at war. So as long as I'm at war, the rebels cannot break my country. But again, we have a long ways to go. But we're running into a secondary issue of that we're running out of money and we're bleeding money fast. So we end up starting to debase on cooldown because we can't go bankrupt or we're kind of going to be screwed. So it's June 1st, 1497. Funny enough, the particular sort of win at this point. And I want to mention a few last things that were actually super funny. I didn't have very good unjustified demand, so I hit the point where I couldn't take land anymore. And I thought that the run was over because I had to fight France and I couldn't take anything. However, we had some insane luck with France. He got excommunicated and we're Catholic. And so now we had justified claims, which was crazy lucky. And I also barely scraped together enough money to not go bankruptcy before I ended this last war. I had already max debased, max exploit dev. I had so much problems with govcap, I had to unstate everything. I couldn't even put it in a half state or anything like that. I had to unstate every piece of land except my capital. And even then you can see I'm barely under the gov cap and I have all the land rights out. It's just a brutal scenario. There's just so much land. So taking a final look, we're 1246 overextended, 79 unrest. We are going bankruptcy this month. And what saved me, funny enough, was the siphon income option. Because I wouldn't have been able to survive the last month without that. And I couldn't quite finish off the Tunis War until then. But anyhow, when we did end the war with Tunis, you can see that would put us at just the right amount of provinces to form Rome. Even though I already had Mammoth's Ambition, this would also achieve that achievement. Of course, that's not what we were here for. Just kind of a something to mention. I'll show you guys a quick time lapse of the run. If you guys would like to see me try to recover this run, let me know in the comments. I have somewhat of an idea on how to do it. My idea would be to attack into Europe and like co everybody in the game that I could find. Because that way they would be having to fight the ridiculous amount of rebels. Anyhow, if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.